Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Back to the Jester's Court. Or welcome to the Jester's Court. Take your pick. You know? Shit, yeah. I'm going straight to the point and go, er, ha. Um, yeah. There might be some noise here, but there, because I'm walking home from work. <laughs> so, topic popped in my head. I think I taught, said something about this last night. About the, my whole... I think it's, what, debate videos, what I'm going to call them, topical videos, where I have, have an, a topic, a discussion, discussion videos, you know, that's what we're going to call them, discussion videos, it's not one of them, but, you know, anyway, that'll happen when they happen, because if I have it, something pops up, and oh, anyway, I was thinking about one, okay, because I've seen it, because I used to work as a cashier, and I've seen it a lot, and it drives me nuts, and it kind of adds on to a, another fact. Not even another fact, a, another, how do you want to put it? Tax on to another thing. That's part of the same, that's just pretty much the same thing. It comes to, like, all fair, food stamps, all that stuff. So it's just kind of like, oh, really? So gonna just talk about this let me know your thoughts on it and what I've done when I post it um these people they're acting like a bad out of hell for nothing it's like oh I gotta get somewhere it's like yeah slow down anyway that's not what we're here to talk about but yeah so I understand you can't work no more so you're gonna welfare like that you literally can't work. Not no break not disability kind of can't work, but there's something that makes it so you can't work no more. Not illegal or whatever, but you know, you get you understand. So you get on welfare. Because you gotta be able to pay for things somehow, right? I ain't saying anything. You heard that. Anyway. So yeah. So it begs you to wonder about some other people. Because you see some people that come in. There's nothing phys you can tell. You can just straight up tell. There's nothing physically or mentally wrong with them. But you know they're on welfare. Because the way that they act. And the way they talk about, you know... The things they do, the things they have, this and that. And it's like, you know. And you're just like, ah, oh, it's not even just the welfare, it's food stamps too. That one I don't understand. I, I can't I can't wrap my head around the food stamp crap. Like there's certain things that you shouldn't be allowed to buy with food stamps because it doesn't make sense because it to me. Food stamps should only allow you to buy healthy food, and it should give you enough to buy that. It should only allow you to buy food to take care of you, not junk and garbage. Like, I understand you want to feed your family, but a $50 box of crab legs, of snow crab legs, is, should not be bought on food stamps because that's ridiculous. That's a bit outlandish for food stamps. I, yeah, maybe I just have some sort of morals, on, moral code on things where it doesn't make sense and it's stupid, it's wrong, you know, that kind of deal. It's just like, oh, that just makes me want to hit people. But that tacks onto it, the whole, the whole uh, welfare thing, because it's like, I understand why mothers get wick. They either by themselves or what do you want to say? They can't they can barely afford to feed themselves. Like even if they're with somebody, they have enough to pay the bills and barely enough to feed themselves, so they get wick so they can take care of their newborn children. Up until a set time. So I think. I think. They get WIC. 
up until the kids hit a certain age. I think, I don't know how that works. Anybody who does, let me know. Because I just know that we have a book. We had a book that tells us what is WIC acceptable and it changes, I think, yearly or bi-yearly. I don't know. But things change. I think it changes during the summer. Regardless, though. But yeah, it's this... They got a new dog. Bar- Sorry. Sorry about that. House I walk past every day and they have this really nice looking husky. I used to bark at me and I talked to him and he stopped barking at me. He just like always waited for me to come up and talk to him. But now there's a new dog. I'm like, oh, dang. Anyway, back to the topic. I like animals, guys. I like animals. Um, but yeah, it's that's the thing, though. I feel like people abuse the system. They, they see it, and they think they can do whatever they want, and that's what they do. Whatever they want. It's like, hey, I don't want to work anymore. Anything wrong with me? No. I have enough money to pay off a doctor to say that there is, so I'm going to do that. And there's the proof to go and get welfare. A lie. A big lying statement. I don't even know if they actually do that. But they find a way to either that or know somebody. And they get on welfare. And they don't need it. Because they could physically, they have the mental and physical capacity to work. There are some people who can't hold down a job. Because they have no common sense. I... I haven't met these people. I have met a specific person. I'm not going to need names. But holy crap. Common sense is a very important tool in day-to-day life. Right? Right. But still. Hold on. Okay. I thought it was something else. It's a bunny. Sorry. Um, but yeah. It, it's... But still, beyond that, it's, I understand it's, even if it's hard to hold down a job, you can end up finding a job that you can hold and you can keep, and that'd be that. Trust me. I, but I don't understand it. Because you take people, like you see people who are on food stamps. You don't know why, and you don't know how. Because you see the type of vehicles they drive and you see the clothes they wear and everything. And you're just like, why and how? You're going to come here with an $80 hairdo and a wart, an outfit that probably costs as more than my paycheck that I give every week. Twice the amount of my paycheck every week. Not telling you guys. But that's a lot of money because I work enough. They work 32 to 40 hours a week. So yeah, it's a decent paycheck. But regardless of that fact, that's... And you see them come in. Okay, sure. And... They're, like, you, you think that they have money. Like, especially as a cashier, you see them. They have money. I don't want to put it. They have money they can afford to pay for, you know, their groceries. And you think, yeah, they're going to pay for them with money, with the the cash or a credit card, or with a debit card, because they have money. You assume they have money. And that's where you make the mistake. You assume they have money. So, then there's just... The anger comes because you just see what they pull out of their wallet. And you're just, why? Hope you guys can hear everything okay. Anyway, but yeah. You see them all high class and everything. And they pull out food stamps. You don't need food stamps. 
you know that you, you see them and you know they don't need food stamps. They're well off enough to know to not have food stamps. And you're just like, wow, wow. There's people. You see, and that's the thing with the system. Like, I'm not gonna go with the race and gender thing and why who gets what. All you have to do is put on the best show you can and give them the right amount of proof that you have nothing, even though you have everything. And then they go, oh, well, here, have this. And you're sitting there getting five, $600 a month for food that you don't need. And you're not even getting food stamps. You're getting EBT cash. Yet yeah, you're fucking living a life of luxury. Part of my language there. But that's, it's just, it's not even just the cash. They get food stamps or cash, either or. But they get so much of it. And you know what they do with most, half the time? And I, I know this. I've seen this. I see this a lot. Because they'll sit there, you can, you see, you know they get like, and as a cashier, when you have to tell them, because the as a cashier, I'm not going to tell you what I work for, but when you pull up the receipt, unless they ask you not to, you're supposed to read their savings to them. You pull up the receipt and you say, you know, hey, yada, yada, this, yada, yada, that, you save this much, yada, yada, and hand it back to them. But you see, you see that number. You see that number. This high class looking man or woman right in front of you with a few thousand dollars in food stamps. And you're like, ha, why, how? They lie to get that. And even if they don't lie to get that, you know what they do? They sell them. Like they'll keep maybe, say, Two to two to four hundred food for the food stamps to themselves. That's theirs to fill their house. And they'll figure it out. They'll fill their house with groceries for the month. And they'll sell the rest. A buck a stamp. So pretty they're not stamps, it's all on a cart now. If it was on food, it's still stamps and holy crap. But <coughs> it's pretty much one food stamp is equivalent to one dollar. So, you sell, they sell them for how much, they use like, alright, you're going to, I'm going to give you this much, this is how much you have to use. You can't go over because I only have so much. And you're not the only person I'm going to sell to today, this month. So, they do that. So, I'll say, or maybe not even, they don't even do that. Because this money's coming in free. It's like, all right, depending on how much you want to use is depending how much I'm going to charge you. I want to use 200. All right, 50 bucks. And you loan out the card to people. Give them the pin. And you send them on their way. And they come, they buy what they want, come back, drop off the card, and that's it. And it's a get quick, get quick, bleh. Get rich quick squeak. Blah, blah, blah. Wow. Wow, guys, I can't speak. Get rich quick scheme. There it goes. And that's what they do. Now, I'm not telling you to do that because to me, that's what garbage people do. To me, if you stoop so low as to lying to get so many food stamps, to selling them to get, live yourself the life of luxury, then you are a garbage, you are a terrible human being. There are people who will come in honestly, being honest, to get some. Get, because they need help, because either they don't have a because they don't really have a home. They're just bouncing from place to place. And only staying there from like a couple weeks, like a week or two at a time. And Need enough money to last them for the month. 
So, to answer me this, unless you're living off of junk food, how far does $80 go in a month? Especially if you're working and getting next to no hours. If you're trying to give yourself, you know, a way of communicating with people and whatnot, and your work getting a hold of you, granted, I didn't go the cheap route. I like my nice toys. I'm sorry. I'm not rich. I cannot afford or necessarily afford the things I have, some of the things I have. <laughs> but I get them anyway. I shouldn't be. I literally shouldn't. I have things that worked hard, earned the money to buy them. Okay? A lot of people have not. They either just get food stamps to sell them for money, or they have a lavish job and find a way to cheat. They have a nice job. But the, holy crap, there's a lot of dirt handprints. Um, but the job they have is under the table. So that way they can get away with it. Um, like I have a car that I am paying for. Like, do you have a job? I am my so and so. This is paying for my car. It's in my name, but they're giving me the money for my car until I can get on my feet. Yada yada. Probably I don't know, but still, they're doing that, and they're making like four or five hundred dollars. From this job here a week because you can you can find good jobs good like contracting jobs or whatnot who pay you under the table and it's more than mainly because they either can't afford to pay you insurance or would rather not if they don't have to because that saves them money right that's how they do that pretty sure that's how they do that but it, it's what it is and they have these lavish under the table jobs so they can go and lie or they work for some relative and they want to do this so they think all right we're going to put you off the books and so they keep changing it milk and i have an itch so i have to keep holding it under my arm but anyway that, that's what they do and i don't know I want to say it is what it is, but I'd be lying because it's not, because it's crap. It, it's, it's, it's not right. It's not right to abuse a system that is in a way trying to look out for its people. Because when you do that, the people who need it get nothing. So you don't need it. You never really needed it. But you just would rather have your money for you rather than taking care of yourself with it. You know? Like, it's the same as the welfare. There's people that you know, you know, don't need it. You can tell 100% that they don't need it. Um, but yes, so you can tell 100% that they don't need the welfare. They shouldn't be living on welfare. And yet they're on it. Like, I, I know people. I knew someone who was gonna. They literally was gonna. They were going be like, nope. And it's like, if I ever seen them again... Oh, I would hit him so hard, but he didn't. He got a job. Proud of you. So, good for that. I, I'd prefer that because it's like at least your money is earned and honest. Instead of lied and cheated. I just want to cross the street. I'm almost home. Granted, I'm not crossing at a crosswalk. I'm more or less just crossing. Maybe I can show you.
Yeah, there's there, there's no crosswalk. See? That's just the end of the sidewalk. Oh, so close, guys, but I couldn't see behind that bush. Oh, no more fast. Oh. Okay, I'm good. Not completely good, but good enough. But yeah, like you see people who, like, they just abuse the system. And it's like, oh, really? That's, I don't know. Anyway, enough being a, me being long-winded about this topic. I don't know how I'm going to name this video. We'll figure that out. Yeah. I don't like doing that. What should be the name of this video today? I don't know. I don't want to just say, hey, welfare. Welfare food stamp problems. That just sounds, that just screams me just complaining. It's not me complaining about it. It's really not. It's me talking about it. And hopefully you guys will respond and we can create a discussion out of this. Like I, I make this video. If any of you comment or people comment on it, I'll post another video a couple days later, you know, reading your comments and being like, yeah, you know, we have creating a discussion. So you can be like, yeah, okay, I see your points, this and that, valid, blah, blah, blah. You know, an actual discussion. Now, some people try to just look at me, oh, rub, 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 rub. it's like, yeah, no, that's not how that works. Anyway, like I said, Enough of me being long-winded and just going on and on. I'm going to end it here. It's 10 to 20 minutes. I mean, just going on about this. So, if you like this video, like, share, comment, and subscribe. For no apparent reasons whatsoever, leave a co drop comment. If you do, we'll discuss this in another, in another video. And until next time, have fun, stay safe, be chilly chill, and peace out people, I am out of here. Hop up!